My name is Richard and I'm from Queens, New York. I went to Fordham University in New York City and I am fresh out of college. I am teaching English in Chengde, China. I came here with an organization called Amazon Year in China, otherwise known as AYC. So my trip started out in Shanghai and I had an awesome orientation. I met people from all over America and even met some people from other countries. I had great teachers who taught me the real methods to be a teacher and I made some really awesome friends. Shanghai itself is an amazing city. The way that it lights up at night can't be compared to any other part of the world. It's super modern, super industrial. The city has amazing forms of technology. Of course, with all that development comes pollution in the form of smog. From Shanghai, I went to Chengde, which is in the Hunan province. It is a super small city with a population of only about a million people. I teach English at the number one middle school of Li County. I'm still kind of in that ooh and ah honeymoon phase of China where everything is still new and amazing, but I definitely am still getting used to things around here. My apartment, as you can see behind me, is great. It did take about four hours worth of cleaning, and I mean intense cleaning, to get everything the way I wanted it to be. But once I was finished, it was extremely rewarding. I guess at times it can get a little bit lonely. I always keep myself busy by taking pride in the little things. I'm about to throw these eggs in. Bam! Whoa! See what I mean? Anytime I feel homesick, I'll just turn on my Nintendo and play Super Smash Brothers. Aside from my apartment, it's really the students that make me feel like I belong to this place. Every morning, my students greet me with smiles and, hello, Mr. Richard, how are you today? I teach all the grade one students. The students are always super busy. They have class from about eight in the morning to about 10 at night. Their level of English does vary from student to student. They're all super cheerful and super happy and all their other classes are taught in Chinese lecture style. So they're always full of energy when they come into my class because they know they're receiving something different, I suppose. I want them to step into my class and enjoy speaking English. I want them to have a lot of fun. So on the first day of class, I taught them how to do basic introductions. I threw in a little bit of New York slang there. So I have students coming up to me saying, yo, what's good? I also had all the students make English name cards. Some kids came up with names like Maximum Rider, Fall Out Boy God, Crescendo, Big Head. The students here are really really love spending time with me outside the classroom as much as they do inside the classroom. So whenever they see me walking around or doing some type of activity, they all want to join in and speak with me. Most importantly, I realize they're all incredibly gifted students and really smart. They just amaze me every day. My coworkers are amazing too. There's not a very large English department at the school. For my birthday, which was in the first week of September, my boss bought me a cake and a bicycle. The school itself is absolutely gorgeous. I don't remember how big the school is or how many students that it has, but I can safely say it definitely has more than 7,000 students. It has an Olympic sized track field, rows of ping pong tables, badminton courts, and just beautiful willow trees everywhere. The language barrier has definitely proved proven to be difficult. You really got Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you back. I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Somehow, I still managed to get by. Luckily, I have one other foreign teacher at the school, so I have someone to speak English with. We're both trying to start an informal English corner on the school campus so that students can practice their English and in exchange, they can teach us Mandarin. So what are some of my favorite things so far in China? Number one, I love the food here in Li County. The Hunan province has the second spiciest food in China, and every single meal I've had so far has been absolutely fantastic. The Hunan province is extremely famous for traditional dishes like hot pots and tongyuan. The second thing that I love about China is the natural beauty. I got the chance to visit Changsha, the capital city in the Hunan province, and I hiked up to the top of Yulu Mountain with some friends that I made. The view at the top was just incredibly breathtaking. The nightlife in Changsha is much more active than it is in Li County, but Li County itself is just so incredibly rich in culture. I took a bike ride from Li County to the oldest ancient city in China. I'm on my way there right now and we'll see where this road takes me. I just did a two hour bike ride to find the 
side of China's oldest city, and um, I got here. I just found a random group of people and just decided to join them. Sneakily, of course. My third favorite thing about China, the people. Most of the people that I see at the parks are nearly twice my age. They're all incredibly active and super competitive at ping pong and badminton. My jaw just drops every time I walk through the park and see them playing. It's great to see how much the Chinese people here enjoy life. At night, the park changes from ping pong and card playing to a place where people gather for traditional dancing and carnival rides light up for children. As you're walking through the park, you can hear the soothing sounds of sweet traditional Chinese music that people just play on their instruments. My fourth favorite thing about China has to be being a foreigner in China. People always stop and stare at me. Many people will say hello or toss me a smile. And I'm sure that people are making jokes about me left and right, but that's totally okay. I just smile and laugh along with it. I really love the other foreign friends that I've made in Changsha. Having a night out in town with them is an adventure all on its own. And it's nice to have other people that I can speak English with whenever I'm feeling a little bit homesick. So overall, I have to say I absolutely love this experience so far. We're off to a great start. I'll post another video up next month. See everybody later. Love you guys. Peace.